Texas A&M uh, 23, Arkansas 21, and goodness gracious, uh, you look at the total yards, you look at the stats, uh, the rushing yards, Arkansas had 244 rushing yards. I mean, they they averaged four and a half yards per rush. Now, A&M on the other side averaged 5.6 yards per rush. A&M put up 343 yards of offense. Jimbo had a plan in this game. Now, I went back and watched uh, the majority of this, but some of what we saw in this game was just crazy stuff happening at the most ridiculous times. For example, you go over to the game drives. Right, we'll do we'll do play by play. Uh, but this this t- fumble return touchdown where Arkansas was up 14 to 13 and they were driving. They had 12 plays 72 yards on this. They drove all the way down to uh, the A&M three. And then an 82-yard fumble return for Texas A&M. I mean, just, just bananas. Like, I just do not understand. And, 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 of course, it was a handoff. It was just a weird, weird play. Uh, in the second half, A&M goes up 23-14 to 14, uh, on a field goal. And then you finally get Arkansas, a 13-play, 74-yard drive that they finally finished. And you finally get an A&M missed field goal. You get an Arkansas missed field goal. And that's how the game ends. Because you, it's not like this was some super long field goal. This thing bounced off the right upright, off the top of the right upright, and fell forward instead of backwards. So that's how we end up losing the game. Arkansas had opportunity after opportunity in this spot and just could not get it done. Uh, Cheers to Texas A&M because after that loss to App State, with the way that the offense looked, I mean, it continued to look that bad against Miami last week. Uh, If they had continued to play like that, yeah, they'd be in a whole mess of trouble. But this may have saved their recruiting class for next year. It might have saved their current recruiting class. Uh, there's all kind of things that that it saved by winning this ball game. And Arkansas, you know, first loss of the year. They are not going to be in the top 10 this week. But Arkansas has Alabama this week. A&M has Alabama in two weeks. So, interesting spots for both of those teams. Uh, but yes, this was... Just bananas. If you look at the the post game win expectancy, uh, the win probability, how much it shifted, right there. I mean, it's just crazy, just crazy. And you can see on the expected points, it, the play, right there where it shifts, and it goes all the way down. Yeah, that is of course the fumble return for the touchdown. <laughs> you can absolutely see it. Uh, so yeah, when you when you look at this. Uh, Arkansas had more plays per drive. They had more yards per drive. Uh, they got 67% of the available yards. I, it was it was nuts because I felt like Arkansas should have won that football game. And yet, here we are. Here we are. Sometimes you don't always win. And that is the way it goes when you play in tight, contested ball games. Um, just the A&M, though. I mean, this was, this was huge for them. Absolutely huge for them. Uh, th- I mean, this game right here could be the difference between winning, you know, nine or ten games and barely scraping by to make it to a bowl game. That's that's how big that game was. Arkansas, I think, on the other hand, a good showing, still got a lot to work with going forward. Um, but yeah, first loss of the season is always going to stink. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.